Hi, this is Ronald Johnson, your life coach, mentor coach. And what I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. And this is Gloria, your life coach. I help those who are feeling stuck, struggling with difficulties such as self-doubt, inner judgment, lack of confidence, life transitions, and taking steps forward. And welcome to Life's A Shuffle podcast. Now, you may wonder why it's called Life's A Shuffle. And the reason why we came up with this title was that life is really shuffling. And it doesn't matter where you come from, your background, what age you are, you're shuffling multiple things in life. And the best thing to know in life is everybody faces your struggles and everybody faces what you're going through. But there's hope in learning something about that. So when our guests share their journey, the hope is you learn something in that journey so yourself can navigate the struggles you face, the low self-esteem, the self-confidence. And that's why we call podcast Life's a Shuffle. And throughout this podcast, we share our personal overcoming stories, as well as our guests who shares their personal journey in overcoming their personal struggles. Life's a Shuffle podcast is here to connect like-minded individuals. And thank you for listening to Life's a Shuffle podcast. Hi, this is Gloria, your life coach and mindfulness coach. Welcome to another episode of Life's a Shuffle. Hi, this is Ronald Johnson, your life coach, mindfulness coach, and motivational speaker. And welcome to another episode of Life's a Shuffle. It's been a while, guys. And um, me and Gloria were just talking about this the other day that we used to be very consistent our, at our podcast, be freestyle our guests, and we just fell off the wagon. I don't know if we hit our head or what. I certainly <laughs> definitely fell off the wagon as far as motivation goes, but... You know, today is another freestyle and we're going to talk, well, at least I will start talking about the fact of why, what happened to me in the last 90 days. You know, I, I read this book um, called Laziness um, is a Lie. And it, it made more sense after I read the book than actually reading the book, but it's a really good book. So, you know, I talked about on our podcast about me moving to Washington and, you know, going from personal trainer full time to virtual, uh, now trying to do full time coaching. Since then, um, I talked about this on the last podcast, last freestyle, almost what sixty days ago, as I've joined Lyra, a contract job for coaches, and I like it because it provides a lot of self autonomy, set my own schedule. But really, what's happened is that for the last since I moved from California in October twenty twenty until let's say now, which is August twenty twenty one, especially from October twenty twenty until May twenty twenty one, I busted my butt or my ass to post videos, create content edit videos just all the time. And it was very frustrating because, you know, as you're trying to start a business, it's, you know, you want to make money, right? You know, we all want to make money. We want to make money day one. It takes a lot of time to get there. And uh, Gloria did this for me just a couple weeks ago. She called me on and says, you know, Ron, what's going on? The podcasts, the virtual seminars. And I just had to be honest. I say, you know what? I just been really burned down. And um, I just, when I got the, the contract job at Lyra and, and I started doing that and making money. It's just my attention went from creating content to now I'm, okay, I'm focused on that and that's it. Because I realized this is that when I read the book, Laziness is a Lie, I felt guilty of not doing our podcasts and virtual seminars, um, but I didn't understand why. And now I understand after reading the book, really laziness is a lie because what does really, laziness really mean? Society tells us, oh, well, if you're not working hard enough, you're lazy. If you're not doing this, you're lazy. Well, sometimes after spending nine to 10 months ruminating on trying to be somebody, trying to do everything I could from TubeBuddy to YouTube to live video to post content to create stuff in my voice, everything, and finally I got something I want, it's like, <sighs> I'm going to a breather. It's like trying to get a getting your bachelor's degree and say, okay, go back and get your master's. It's like, oh, I don't know for sure. Let me see. Then you think about it, maybe you go back. But I took a moment to realize I needed a time to regroup and refocus and proceed forward. So in, in essence, I wasn't lazy. It's just I spent a lot of my energy trying to create this. I was overwhelmed with stress, um, anxiety, worry, um, you know, uh, just a new whole new circumstances. You know, you go from full time trainer, earning your money to now you got to recreate something from ground zero. And trust me, anything you recreate, regardless of how, any, how many how-to books you read, is never the same. 
because you're not the same. So even though someone did something, you follow their steps, really is that even though you follow their steps, you're a different person that did the first time. So your outcome could be different. So that's why I've taken a break and I didn't know I did, didn't know I didn't, couldn't name it, talk, taking a break or ruminating, but now understanding after reading the book and uh, talking to Gloria that I had to take a break from this because I actually needed it um, for myself and to figure out what I wanted next. So that's my spiel. What, what about you, Gloria? What's going on? Whew, you know it's what? <laughs> no, I, I was just, I was waiting. I didn't want to um, cut you off there, but what had happened, I believe there is that you pretty much got burnt out. I was so, burnt the hell out. Yes. During the process, and this happens to a lot of us, to most of us, you know, when you're just always, um, when you feel like you're motivated because you want to accomplish something, you want to get somewhere and you think, and you feel like you're so focused on this, but you're not realizing you're burning yourself out. Mm -hmm. You know, you're trying to do all like so many, so much things and everything all at once. Mm -hmm. And oh then that's, yeah, you're not, you, oh. you think you're focused. Yeah, you are. You're focused when well, you're focused on one thing. The best way to describe that is like trying to stick a square peg into a round hole. You know, the, the, the lie that Sai has told us is that, you know, you got you to gotta be really tough, got to be really hard, and we really got to persevere. We really got to do this because then we get what we want. That's a lie. Sometimes you got to take a step back to take a step forward. Sometimes mm -hmm. you got to regroup to see where you want to go. Is this the right path? But, you know, side teaches us completely different. They teach us the only way to achieve anything is, is through hard work. And if you're not working hard, someone else is working harder than you and you got to try everything. I did everything in the last nine, 10 months, everything from spending money on this thing called TubeBuddy, which is a waste of time, trying to monetize my YouTube channel so I can go big. Uh, remember I did that, I think it's 75 videos in 75 days or something like that challenge back between uh, mm -hmm. February, March, or April of this year. Yeah. And I did that every day. And you guys can imagine I'm shooting a video, I'm editing a video, I'm posting a video on, on every platform from LinkedIn to YouTube to Instagram that's and Facebook. And that is a lot. Oh my goodness. That's a lot. I'm doing it all myself and at the same time I'm trying to grow a business. So it's it's really, really ironic that when you go through things like this, it's really important to take a step back and figure out what's important to you. Um, mm -hmm. Like friends and family, what's your values? And, um, you know, what makes you feel happy? Like, what are your hobbies? That's the most important thing. What are your hobbies? Mm -hmm. makes you happy. And try implement more of that so that we can regroup the proceed for whatever direction that is. And when you do, it just comes to you. It'll mm -hmm. just come, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, trying to starting a business and running a business is no joke. You know, it's not one of those that just happens. And it's when you become successful, it's, it doesn't mean that it just, you just became successful overnight. There was, there's a lot of things that, ha you know, that goes on behind that, the ups and downs and um, just, you know, your mental health as well. You know, and actually not even mental, like physical, mental and physical health um, gets affected by it too. But, you know, I'm, I'm glad that you were able to um, take that break and um, realize that. So how are you feeling now? Actually, I'm feeling super excited shooting, shooting this podcast right now and discussing this out loud because, you know, you got a name entertainment and I'm, I'm really happy to go back to why we started our podcast and really get back on doing that. because I really enjoyed not just doing the podcast, but the wonderful people we meet and the stories we share. I mean, that's that was huge. I mean, what we, we started this podcast February 2020 and now it's August 2021. We're up to 6,691 downloads. It probably could have been over 7,000 or close to 10,000, but we, you know, we took some breaks here and there, but I'm ready to get back on this and creating a cadence of when we're going to shoot it and put it in my calendar. So I know this time is carved out for shooting the podcast. Did you and miss it? I, I did miss it. I did miss talking. I guess I talk a lot better than I write. That's for sure. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> you miss talking? <laughs> I miss talking better. Like I said, miss talking better than I write. And that's why I, I love doing this. I mean, I've invested in a sure microphone I'm using right now. I've invested in a computer, which I call my creation station, which I carry all my videos and do my podcast. But I, mean, I, just, I need to start using it. And the uh, end of the year is coming. Um, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm ready to start getting back on the mic again. It's like, you know, those... Those uh, uh, rappers you hear, you know, they come out with a hit. And next thing you know, they come out a couple of other songs and you don't hear from them for yeah. 10 years. Like, what happened to so-and-so? Is he still alive? 
maybe it's got to be group two. I, I don't yeah. know, but mm -hmm. it does happen. We're all human. It's and, and it's okay. To, it's okay to take a break, and um, it's also okay to have those kind of feelings. You know, mm -hmm. it is normal. I, I think we all know that everybody goes through this. And like I said, um, most of us get that feeling and we just end up overwhelming ourselves. Um, we get the burnout and we don't realize that until later. And then when you take that step back and then you think and you regroup, then you're ready to um, crush it again, mm -hmm. ready to rock and roll. <laughs> I am. I mean, doing this whole year, you know, I've been working on getting additional certifications so that burnt me out. So once I got my last positive psychology certification back here in June, I said, no more certifications, no more anything. I was completely done yeah. because, you know, you guys know I'm going back to school, get my degree, my master's degree, but I got to start in a bachelor of science in uh, ind industrial organization. So I'm going to start that. Um, and next, what, uh, what's today? Today is the 11th. I start on October 19th. So it'll be a a five-year journey, get my master's degree, and uh, I'm going to share everything I'm learning with you guys, fresh off the press. Yeah, can't wait. That's a lot, and you know what? Also, what you could take on with this is just it's a learning, it's a learning process. So you kind of learn from it too, right? Mm -hmm. I trust the process, and now yeah. it's you know all of us need to know when to say no. Yeah, set boundaries. But, yeah, that's what was happening. I wasn't setting a boundary. I was like, okay, I got the certification. Oh, next certification. Okay, next certification. Next thing, next thing, next, 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 next. Before you know it, I'm turning around every which direction but forward, right? Because you, you're trying to, you know, it's like you have a stove. You have four eyes that are burning. And every pot's boiling over. And you're trying to turn the fire down, find the right one. This is boiling over. You got to change. It's just so much to manage cognitively that you could face a, a burnout. In just a different way. It doesn't have to be a job. I can face burnout because I haven't set boundaries for myself. Just say no. Yeah. I'm thinking the and more also, I do, the better I become at doing it, you know? Yeah. And also, I think it helps that someone calls you out on it. <laughs> I, I <think laughs> Not it in a bad way, but in a good way. You know, just like a little reminder. Well, let's, let's take in the context. No one does nothing alone. That's just the bottom line of life. No one does nothing alone. Okay. So... You need to have a support system or people you can trust that calls you out and says, hey, what's going on? What's, what's the deal? Let's talk. And, and a lot of times you're just not honest with yourself or you just don't know what to say because you just don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. And I had to think about it. And you called me out on it. We had a discussion about it. And um, yeah, that, that was it. But yeah. remember, I had to discover why. And yes. what happens, I found that book, Laziness is a Lie. It makes sense the reason why. And I tried to, about four weeks ago, force doing video vlogs again or shooting my videos for YouTube. I just wasn't ready. No. So I got to wait till I get the motivation to get ready to actually do it. Yeah. And don't don't force yourself. Just you always, I, I think my, my best advice in this is just really just follow your heart. Do it from the heart. Don't mm -hmm. don't do it because you feel like I think it's time or I should or that um, I haven't done this in a long time. I, I really should do something, you know, mm -hmm. and it, you're not going to feel it. No. it. There's no motivation there. Then again, um, it's just like me, like posting stuff on social media because I'm not a very big social media person. But um, when I do post something, it's when I'm what I'm feeling, what I'm feeling either for that week, or for that day. And I feel like, oh, this is worth sharing. Mm -hmm. That's when I post something. And that's when I feel motivated to like share it with people and uh, my followers. Or I know that some of my followers are those who really, um, and, and they've, they've told me this, who really believes in me and I, you know, that I do inspire and motivate them and it helps them. Right. And uh, when I do that, sometimes it's for me to tell somebody or someone out there who maybe feeling a certain way that week and you know hopefully that i'm able to help them and heck yeah yeah so you know that that that's what it is and i have discovered and realized that when i do something more coming from the heart it just means so much more for me and i don't feel forced because i've learned like you know you're you've learned your lesson from all this and i've learned my lesson from doing something that just because i feel like i need to do it or just because you know, just because, just to do it. It's just, there's no motivation there at all for me. And I just, I just can't. But when I do it, when coming from the heart, um, I have my words that are coming out of my, my mouth or whatever I'm typing there. It's just more meaningful and more authentic. Mm -hmm. And that's when I touch more people in other people's lives, you know, but 
other than that, I think for me this past, um, well, summer's almost ending for me. So this past summer, I did a lot. I think for me, I had a checklist, you know, that I wanted to check off of my list that I wanted to accomplish for the summer, which I have pretty much did. Um, I did a lot of reflecting. I really have. Um, I've okay. had my moments. Yeah. And I, I like it. I really like it. So, and I know that it's, it's changing me in some ways and I feel the changes in me and in my body. I could feel that. And I know I'm changing and I'm still going through a lot of changes, but uh, yeah. So what I did a lot more of is really just reflecting, reflecting in, in life, um, you know, the past, the present, and not so much more in the future. Because you know why? Tell me why. You never really tell what's going to happen in the future, and you cannot say or predict the future. No, you cannot. And you know what? <laughs> when I when I coach my clients, all of us up until we get more awareness, more knowledge, we want to control the future. We want to know that if I put one foot in front, one foot in front of the other right now, I can predict my steps. You know, thirty yards. I'm going to use a small analogy, okay? But the idea is that we want to control the future, but in reality, no one can control the future. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nobody nope. can. The only thing you can control is to reflect on the present moment. That is it. Because what you want to do is that you want to relieve yourself from the stress and anxiety of knowing or predicting or hopefully, you know, looking at all angles of a dimension which doesn't exist to control it. And most of the time we get to that destination anyways and find out, oh man, I shouldn't have done this anyways, or I should have done something completely different. But reflect in the present moment is the only thing you really can entirely control in a metaphysical world. Now you can control what you put in your mouth, what clothes you wear, what car you drive and all that stuff, but you can't control the future. Mm -mm. That is so true. I totally agree. A hundred percent. And even um, just being in the present and um, just going with the flow. That's another thing I've just really, in the past several months, I've really just learned more and more to just go with the flow. Like It's like water, the current. Just go with the current. Mm -hmm. You Look follow the energy. And the more I do, I'm, I'm, and I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, I did. I did this. I follow the energy. I, I was following the flow. I'm just going with the flow. It just feels so much more better and I feel more at ease. Mm, look at that. The, the word I learned in positive psychology is uh, helotrophic. So it basically you go where energy flows. The difference in a flower on a windowsill faces where the sun is because that's where energy flows. And more you mean you're in tune with your psychological, psych, psychology of yourself of what makes you feel good, what makes you feel happy, and those moments of success or those moments of try positivity is you got to flow that direction. And you know what you know. Mm -hmm. So you know you should be doing this, but most times we say, oh, I'm not for sure. Is it the wrong thing to do? We know we should be doing this. And I'm not following that path. Exactly. So I did. Um, yeah. And, and it feels so much better. And I also am very grateful. Um, so another part of my, you know, reflecting in life is just being grateful for all the people that I have connected with. And um, I continue to have communication and connection with, mm -hmm. you know, um, I may have lost some, um, but I have gained. I feel like I've lost some, but I've gained so much more. You know, Ooh, um, look at that. Yeah, I the, just the in, inspiration, what inspires me and motivates me to keep going with doing what I want to do, just the support that I have um, behind me. You know, the inspiration would be the people that are around me that I have connected with that shows me or that tell, they don't even have to tell me. It just tells me, like, this is where I need to be. I am where I should be. Mm -hmm. You know, just the whole mindfulness and meditation coaching, um, Reiki. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and just life coaching and then just following and continuing, um, to run and host the women's circle that I've started sometime last year, mm -hmm. you know, but I, I do, I think what makes me stronger and, you know, just giving me that belief that I really do believe I am where I am. I wouldn't probably have done it if I didn't have 
lot of the people around me. But I feel like the universe had really connected me to these people because, um, you know, it's, you know, when they say you meet someone for a reason. Mm -hmm. And I felt like that that's what had happened to me. It's like I was connected with, you know, let's say a good example would be I I was going to post this one day, um, post this one day, like I got connected with um, with Haley. It was just Mm -hmm. random. Right. So Haley Lott and now I see why the reason is because she opened up more for me the um the whole mindfulness and meditation. Really? Yes. And then Ray, remember also Ray was another one because um without the um the human design and uh, just talking about that and all the other stuff with her, that opened up for me more also as well. Wow. So it's it's you know, there's there's people, all these certain people in my life that I have connected with. I This is what I've been doing this past months <laughs> is when I'm reflecting. How did I get here and what got me here? And without all these people that I have connected with that I'm really, really grateful for, I wouldn't have gotten here where I need to be. You, of course, you know, I probably wouldn't have started and found life coaching if you and I hadn't been talking about, you know, this stuff from the very beginning. And then without your support and um, and just kind of like just just being here, like, you know, and like I talked about calling out on calling out on things with each other. Right. So sometimes mm-hmm. you do have to remind me certain things because you understand me. I, a lot of people won't understand. No, they won't. And it's kind of funny is that. You know, I was thinking about this other day, you know, and I go back to what I said earlier. No one does nothing entirely alone. So you actually started looking at coaching. And I, at the same time, was hiring a coach and, you know, was kind of trying to figure out where to go, right? Because remember, we didn't want some of those cheap, I call it fly by night. Fly by night means that here today, go tomorrow. Those kind of coaching schools on the weekend, we didn't want those. We wanted something that can really give us a lot, a lot of knowledge yeah. and be more impactful. So I remember my coach, I went to his LinkedIn because I had no school. What was no idea what school he went to and didn't even understand that schools existed. I went to his LinkedIn profile, saw what school he went to. I told you, then we start kind of researching, right? Because obviously there's no price on the website. And obviously the school is not expensive, not uh, cheap. It's expensive. Well, I mean, I don't quantify, I don't know what expensive is, but I never seen someone invest in themselves and themselves and say they made a bad investment. So not investing, for this one, right? <laughs> right. I mean, for anything. Yeah. I mean, I'm not talking about investing yourself in a brand new car. I'm talking about investing to yourself, you know, your right. your, your education, um, your health, things like that. I've never seen someone say it's a poor investment. Never seen it. You know, yeah. and, and obviously the way we have to frame ourselves is that when we were going back and forth, how much to cost, we pay it front, payment arrangements, student loans or whatever. You know, we did what we need to do individually, but, you know, we were like, dang, this is a lot of money. And well, put it out there. It's like $12,000. I don't tell you, I don't lie to you guys. It is what it is. <laughs> so we invested $12,000 in ourselves. And that's never a poor investment because look how far it's gotten us. Mm-hmm. And guess what? That $12,000, I've already made the money back mm-hmm. off investing in something new. Second thing being is off that $12,000 investment, right? I'm not training anymore. So I'm not, I got back my health. Working 50, 60 hours a week like I wasn't training, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm doing more of what I'm in alignment with and it makes life, life a lot easier. Cause I don't complain about, you remember training, I always complain about taking a day off. I'm so tired. I've been on my mm-hmm. feet here. I've been here since 6 a.m. Uh, I can't take a day. I'm working six days a week. Yeah. I don't do that anymore. I have no idea how I did it. <laughs> Looking yeah. back on it. It's true. And it, it's just, life is funny. You know, sometimes you, you don't really know. But like, again, like I said, um, I, I can attest to that about just really following the energy. And this is, you know, exactly where we are. We we just continue to follow that. Although there we there will be some obstacles, there's going to be some blocks, you know, and um, but I think that, you know, challenges, the, mm-hmm. that's just a test. You know, I, I think it's a test. And once you've overcome that, then you go move forward again and you keep going. So I'm really just, for me, um, this whole time, I've just been really reflecting. So I'm really grateful for you guys, you know, just having you guys um, just really supporting me and just being here on my back and just like on my side um, and Amy, you know, and I, I've, I felt like, you know, just some of my family and friends um, who's all, 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 
who are all still here. Some I know that I who came up to me personally and says, you know, like I have a couple of friends says, look, I believe in you. I, I, you know, I believe in what you do. You know, it's not for me and you know, it's not me, but I will support you. And I love that they were honest with that because you know what, guess what? They do support me that, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they will come with me whenever I have sessions or group or events, right? Mm -hmm. But they will support me. So I do have their support. Um, if I need anything, if I need a place or I need a location, whatever it is, or if I need help on anything, they are there. Look and, at that. Right. So that's what I was thinking, like, gosh, you know, that's, that's, it's so like, life can be so crazy sometimes, but I really have to really sit down and really just reflect on that. And just like, you know, everything that had happened that because this transition isn't, this is not easy. It, this is a big transition for us. Uh, changes in our lives this past few years. You know, it's mm -hmm. a lot, and um, it's a lot to take on. It, it was it was like a roller coaster, right? So you will have people that will come and go. You will have people who's been in, been a part of your lives for so long, for so many years. All of a sudden, they're gone. Mm -hmm. And then you will have some, who, you know, someone who you just meet and whatever. And you connect with, and it, you, here you are, you've gained. You lose one, you gain like 10. Mm hmm <laughs> Look at that. So, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's really, it's 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 amazing. And I, I feel really good about it. And I'm really grateful for all those people. And that's why I continue to make sure that um, I am in contact with them. And they know that I do um, know that they're here and that I'm still here. I'm still around. It could just be a high. Hey, how are you? Ho hopefully, I um, hope things are all well with you. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll text or I send a message just like that, or just message them on wherever it is, LinkedIn or email or whatever, and or in um, Instagram if I see a post, and just say hi. Hope all things are well. You know what that reminds me of one client I had. She says, "You know what? Tell me." She's older. So she says, "Tell me, tell you something. People come in your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. Just mm -hmm. like that tree model you gave a couple of times in our podcast." Some trees, some, some limbs, some leaves are meant to stay there forever and some just fall by wayside. You just got to keep going. Yeah. That's it. It's true. Um, there's also, you will also run, which you, you and I probably have, and we just don't know this, but you know, we will run to, you know, and some, some of those challenges would be some people who doesn't believe in us or who just doesn't like us. I feel like some people just doesn't like me. And um, there was this thing I saw a quote from Pitbull. You know, Pitbull, right? Mm -hmm. um, he said something that if you don't, if you don't have anybody hating you, I don't know it word for word, but it's something like this. If you don't have anyone hating you, that means you're not doing anything right. But if you have people hating you, you must be doing something right. And I've said this, um, this was one of my, uh, one of the things that I've always said also back in the days, even when I was doing volleyball um, in my 20s. And I've always told a lot of the girls this, that um, because the volleyball community is, is big, but yet small, you know, mm -hmm. so I've gotten, you know, I've gotten some haters, but I've always said, I must be doing something right. If they don't like me or she doesn't like me or he doesn't like me. Now, actually, that's so true. That's so true. Yeah. Like, I think it's if you're not getting hated on, um, if you're not getting hated on, you're not doing. Yeah, you're not doing anything right. I think that's I'm what it is. I'm thinking about how can I reframe that? You need it's like you need people talking about you. Yeah, I, I guess the way to reframe it um, is that. You got to create controversy in order to know you're doing something right. Because if you're doing something right, it means you're going against what people think they should be doing, right? Mm -hmm. And when you create controversy, it means you're actually stepping into your authenticity. So instead of creating haters, you, in reality, actually a better way to frame it is by if you create any haters, whatever you deem to call it, you're creating more, or you're more in line with yourself and you're creating an authentic version of yourself. Mm. That's I was trying to think in my mind how to reframe it, right? Because all oh, haters hate. I, I don't know what a hater is. A hater can just someone that disagrees with what I'm thinking. Okay, cool. But remember, I can't say he's wrong. 
and you can't say I'm wrong because right. each person has a different path and different journey. So inherently we're both right, but we can be curious instead of judging. So that's the only thing you can do is take out judgment and put curiosity there. But if you're doing something right, it means you're in alignment with your authentic self and yeah. you're going to get people that are going to judge you because they don't understand how to be curious. They don't understand. Or like what Pitbull says on that thing is that only because they really want to be you. <laughs> that is true too. That too. Yeah. So that was just so funny, but that's, um, so that's been pretty much it. Just catching up here. And then um, I think you and I was, we were discussing the ACC certification that I was trying to, trying to get my credential on. Yeah. I remember that I got mine. So you get your oars and this ACC thing. I don't have to say, but what a bad website, what a terrible user experience. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But I will say this though, is you got to get it. And once you get it, move on. Yeah, that's it. exactly. It's just, just the process just to getting it. Actually, we we're talking about the website. It's just, there's no direct link at all just mm -hmm. to apply or to, for your credential. You mm -hmm. get the run around and you email people, you're still getting the run around or you just don't hear back from them till like weeks later. It's just, it's frustrating, but I know I'll get there and I know I'll get it right. I'll get to the right one eventually. Well, and for those ACC, so coaching has different steps. So the CPC, which means you get a certified professional coach, is a certificate from a school that you attended. Then there's ICF. So ICF stands for International Coach Federation, which, you know, people use as a marker. So let's say if you want to have a contract job or someone's going to hire you and they're asked, are you ACC, ICF certified? ACC means Associate Certified Coach. Then there's PCC, which means Professional Certified Coach, and MCC, which is Master Certified Coach. It's just different levels of experience you have. So obviously more experience, the different levels you get. And entirely how it means, I, I don't know if someone actually will ask for it. companies that hire you to do a contract job or, or hire you to coach their uh, group may ask for it. Uh, people are aware of it. Some people are not. So, I mean, it is what it is. But at least you know, at least when someone knows you went through the steps. You're not just, you know, John Smith off the street trying to be a coach. That's the difference there to get you guys more clarity. But let's flip it around. So this one thing Gloria and I are doing is we're creating shirts every month. And it started with change comes within, and with the perfectly imperfect, and went to self autonomy, uh, change the story, change the belief. Uh, we got what's coming out next is uh, what's the next one? I am enough. Um, I am enough. Yeah, so they can actually if they go onto our social media to our, our Instagram, they'll see us wearing those shirts in there too. Yeah. So the point about these shirts, guys, is to let you know that you know we're we're definitely all about supporting yourself because change that's come within. Everybody's perfectly perfect, and we're trying to spur a different movement um, in the universe, I call it universe, and people itself. So we're going to start selling shirts. We're just trying to give a cadence of, what I mean by cadence is, men, what's the demand? People want it. And our, Girlie Artists has some people that actually are investing in shirts and buying it. So it's going to be a trend coming soon. Uh, we started this year. We're going to keep it going every single month, come out with new shirts and, and market them out there in the world and taking pictures with them. So I look forward to it and I look forward to you guys wearing it and sharing pictures with us. Mm -hmm. So look out for it. It'll be look out. out for it. It'll soon. be out. Yeah. Soon. We're Coming to a theater near you <laughs> <laughs> or a social media near you. That's so what it sounds say, like, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's what it sounds like. So I'm going to say, guys, thanks again. Um, you know, it's been some time since we did a, a podcast. And I thank you for being a still, and I guess, thank you for still being mm -hmm. a listener. And thank you for supporting us with Life's a Shuffle podcast. This life is really just a shuffle. That's all it is, a shuffle and a deck of cards. A deck of cards is still 52, regardless of how you shuffle it. Sure is. It's still a 52 deck of cards. So that's what life is. And I'm going to say, you know, um, my heart goes out there to everybody that's facing any difficulties right now, mental health, physical health. And uh, we all have to come together as a whole to create a better society for ourselves and for everybody else around us. So thanks again for listening to another episode of Life's a Shuffle. If you want to, go to www.lifesashuffle.com. Be a special guest. Never be afraid to tell your story and never be afraid of the fact that you or what story you're going through, you're normal. I told a client the other day, I asked him, so let's think about weight. Yeah, like I need to lose a little bit of weight. What is, what is actual normal? I mean, you meet some people that weigh more than you or weigh less. What is really normal? It's so broad. We have no idea what normal really is. So become a guest, share your story, or join our Facebook group, 
life's a shuffle and let's talk, let's connect and be a guest. Thanks for listening. Yep. And always know that you are not alone. By sharing your story, someone else out there in this world can be walking a similar path as you are. And um, before we end again, so Ron, I know it's been a while. So now after doing this, how does it feel? I'm back better than ever. <laughs> well, then welcome back. <laughs> That's all Ready I got to Rock say. and roll. <laughs> I'm back better than ever. Well, again, um, glad you're back. You're alive and kicking. Um, and again, thank you for um, yeah listening to another episode of Life's a Shuffle. Thank you.